I'm thinking about the anniversary a lot. Ten years have passed. That's a long time. I was working in the emergency room the night Matthew Shepard was brought. I don't think that any of us uh, can remember seeing a patient in that condition for a long time. You don't expect to see this from someone doing it to another person. He was covered in, like I said, partially dry blood and there was blood all over his head and the only place there was no blood on him, on his, on his face, is where he appeared to have been crying down his face. Finding safe pocket is what we do as a gay people. Not just here in Laramie, but wherever we live. So I booked myself a plane ticket to Virginia to go talk to one of the men who killed Matthew Shepard. The fence. I've been there four times. I've taken many visitors. This place has become a pilgrimage site. Matthew Shepard needed killing. I don't want to be your dirty little secret anymore. If we love each other, let's live together. And die together. <sighs> I was no longer a virgin. Good is coming out of evil. People have said, enough is enough. In life, the man was so small, but his legacy is huge. <laughs>